In this video, we will look at your initial setup of CM Premium. Specifically, we will look at adding users and assigning roles, adding services, and setting up available times for the clinic and for providers. Initially, we will look at adding new provider users to your system. When you first log in, you click on the Users menu, click on Providers, and then Add Provider. Then you will choose the provider's role as either provider or technician and fill out the remaining items in the form. Providers are persons who have access to patient medical record information as opposed to staff who have access only to billing and administrative information in general. Once you are completed filling out the form, an email will be sent to the provider at the email address given with their credential information to allow them to log in and access the system through their own provider login account. Here you see the providers added to the list. Next, we will assign a provider role to your own account. This is your own account as the payer admin. Again, we will go to provider, add provider, and fill out the provider, the create provider form. You put in your own information in terms of name and use the same email address that is already on file in the system as the administrator. Once you have completed filling out the form, the system will ask you or will say to you that the email address you've given is already on file and ask you if you want to add a provider role to that user's account. Say yes, add role, and then you'll be added to the list of providers. At this point, you'll be now an admin as well as a provider, and on your next login, you will see both your admin and provider account there. We will now add internal staff users to your account. You click on staff and then the plus staff or add new staff button. Again, staff are persons like your front office staff, your receptionists, or anybody who is, has administrative access but non-medical staff. So persons, these by default do not have access to personally identifiable patient medical record information. So they will be able to do billing and administrative tasks. They, may able, they will also be able to do bulk upload of patient demographic information, but generally do not have access to patient notes and other uh, similar information. So we fill out the form and we click create user and we added a new staff user. An email will be sent to them with their login credentials so that they can access the system. So in total now we have three users on the system. Now we will review going over 
adding services to your account. Firstly, we will add services to the clinic. To do that, we need to go to, while you're in your admin uh, role, go to organization, edit profile, services, add new. On this add new service form, you can add services to, to your clinic that every provider can associate with their profile if they so choose. So we call this service medical consultation. It will be a, a virtual only service. Um, the cost of it is $100. Uh, duration 30 minutes. And you can enter a description. Um, um, save. So you'll see this service coming up in your services listing. Let's add another service. Let's call this one medical checkup. This will be an in-office only service. The cost will be $200 and will be 45 minutes long. Okay, so now we've entered two services. One is virtual and one is in office. So these are services that any doctor in this organization can also offer in their profile. Let's, next, we will look to see how providers associate services or create services from their own profile. So we will use as a provider. So you've logged into a provider account and you go to profile, edit profile, services, add new. On this form, you'll be given the ability to associate an available clinic service with your profile or compose a new service. If we click on the available service, connect service tab, you will see the two services that we just set up um, at the organizational level. We can associate both, both services with this provider's account just by clicking the check mark and then saying add. We can also add a third service, which is specific to this provider. Go to add new, compose or add new service, and make sure the compose and add new service is click, which it is, and then we add new service. Um, so we'll say uh, COVID-19 um, screening. We label this as an in-office only service. Cost is $150 and will take 20 minutes. See. Right. So now this provider um, has these three services associated with their account. 
You will see though that the services are not set to available because admin needs to ensure, needs to set them as, as available. So let's log back in as admin and set them all as available. services and toggle the available button. So these services are now available um, and will show up on profiles and on external places where this clinic's profile shows. All right, so that's it for adding services from the clinic side as well as from the providers and let's now look to set office hours and provider availability. In order to set office hours, while you're logged in as the admin or manager's account, you can go to appointments and you will see the availability tab comes up. You can Enter the start and end dates and times by just scrolling through and getting to the start time and end time. Once you set the start time and end time for one day, you can then apply that to all the days of the week that that start and end time are applicable. If you want to have a different start time and end time, for example, on a Saturday, what you would do is, so first of all, save this, yes. And you'll see the end times applied in the uh, office hours on the right of your screen. If you wanted to have a different time on Sunday, for example, you wanted to open nine, to one on a Sunday, you would just choose Sunday and say 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and save. And so we've had, we've just set up the office hours for this clinic for the entire week. Now let's set up the available times for a particular provider. So let's log in as that provider. Go to appointments and availability. And this time we have to set the, the available days on a daily basis. So let's start with Mon this provider is available on Monday and Thursday at this clinic from 8. To, to two. Note that provider availability is not allowed outside of the scope of the availability of the clinic as a whole. So once you've entered and saved on each day, we will see their available hours come up on the right hand side, um, showing eight to two Monday and Thursday. So that's it, setting up availability both at the clinic level and at the provider level. 